everyone. I'm Kristen Ciccolini. And I'm Janine Malone. And you're listening to It's Just a Phase. Each week, we'll bring you inspiring and informative conversations about honoring the different cycles of life, covering topics of health and wellness, moon phases, astrology, witchcraft, feminism, and more so you can superpower your well-being and live your best life. It's our final week of summer camp. Trust us, these friendships really will last forever. We hope you leaned into the rest and set your intentions last week because this week we're ending in action. It's our waxing moon and we are ready to reacclimate into life after camp. I don't want to go back. <laughs> I know I just missed my mom last week, but now I just want to stay forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can have pen pals. Yeah. Oh my God. Pen pals forever. Remember doing that? You'd like, did you have a pen pal when you were a kid? Yeah. Who was it? I think I did anyways. I feel like I did. And I feel like it was a stranger and I don't know how. Right. I don't know. What were they letting us do when we were kids? (laughs) Good question. (laughs) Anyway, um, you're all our pen pals now, but it's sort of, it's it's a one-way situation unless you're joining us on Instagram. (laughs) We're just talking at you. (laughs) Why don't you ever return our letters? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, boy. Anyway, so we have our final cosmic update, and we are in the waxing moon. And then tomorrow, Tuesday, August 25th, is, you know, the first quarter moon in Scorpio. So there's a lot of attractive magnetic energy building, and this is why it's such a good time to get started on the intentions you set at the new moon. So in the waxing phase, that's what you want to do. Manifesting what you want. It's not about the law of attraction bullshit. We don't, we don't like that in no. this house. <laughs> in this house, we do not believe in the secret. We don't. Oh, my God. I got that book as a gift and I remember feeling like so empowered and then like nothing happened (laughs) (laughs) I also remember reading a story in it that was like this person who wore glasses all the time like they just wanted good eyesight and then the next day they did it was like some bullshit like that and I was like I have bad eyes can I do that (laughs) oh my god yeah it's like empowering for two seconds when you're like oh my god all I have to do is think it yeah like you think real hard about it and it comes but that's not how it works sorry to burst your secret bubble but you have to think about it and put some action into it. That's, that's the missing piece of the secret, but having, you know, having the moon's energy behind your own energy and your own action is really powerful for bringing what you want to into your life. So that, that's how we manifest in the house of summer camp. So that said, the moon is in Scorpio and Scorpio energy can be really transformational. So anything you do now can be really important and exciting and maybe even life altering. How exciting is that? But Very. Scorpio, like a scorpion, also <laughs> has a little bit of a sting or a shadow. So make sure you, any of these changes, just make sure you're thinking them through a lot um, before you make them just so you know, there's nothing else waiting for you on the other side that um, is part of that shadow. So aside from manifestation, the waxy moon is also always fun for finding something new and exciting and stimulating to do. Um, Janine, are you planning on doing anything new and exciting? That is a good question. I, I'm not totally sure. I feel like I'm not planning on it, but I will keep my antennas up (laughs) to just like take some risks. Sometimes I need like the reminder to like get out of my routine. So maybe I'll just take this as an invitation Mm. to do that. What about you? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, it's kind of like back to school time. So I feel like it's a good time to take a new class on something, you know, just Mm. learn about something that I'm interested in. I always wanted to take a pottery class um and learn how to make like ceramic goods and I mean Ooh. that that was I really wanted to do that in the spring but that was put on hold obviously because of the global pandemic I don't know if they're bringing it back anytime soon but when that happens I definitely want to do it yeah that would be so fun I should look back and like make a list of things I actually want to try because yeah. like you said if I don't put action behind it it doesn't happen yeah just writing a list of things I want to do doesn't mean that they happen. (laughs) (laughs) 
obviously. And this week on the 22nd, we're also entering Virgo season. Do we do we know any Virgos around here? We know the biggest Virgo. <laughs> the ultimate Virgo. <laughs> It's here. Happy almost birthday. Thank we'll you. obviously talk about that when it's happening. But for everyone listening, Virgo rules the hermit in the tarot. So this is a card that teaches us about going within and really pacing ourselves. This is a great season to start getting clear on the most aligned next step. Try not to look too far ahead or get caught up in like hustle or perfectionism. You're really focused on like one step at a time and only handling what you can see in front of you um, because that is another way that progress is made. So that seems very aligned with our waxing moon as well. The Hermit is, I think, my favorite card in the tarot. I mean, unsurprising. (laughs) I mean, once I realized it was, uh, it ruled Virgo, I was like, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. No, I love the Hermit. I like, it's such a helpful reminder because it's not like about, I don't know, just like totally isolating. It's actually being focused on like the here and now and like slowly but surely taking the next step and like Mm. being your own best I don't know guide um yeah the way really helpful reminder (laughs) the way I look at it is I mean if you look at the card in the traditional Rider weight deck you know you have the he's holding a lantern and he can only see as far as like the couple feet ahead of him so he just kind of has to trust that you know he knows where he's going and It's just having that self-trust is really important and just knowing that the answers are within you somewhere and just trusting that you'll get there. And, you know, (laughs) how many times can I say trusting yourself? But that's, that's how I really like to look at it. It's just, I feel like it's a really empowering card for having that faith in your intuition. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that that's like a really, it comes obviously in the wheel of the year at a very good time. Um, You know, we have like almost just a little bit over four months left in the year. So really like reminding ourselves that that still is a lot of time and we can still accomplish a lot and not to like freak out, um, but also to kind of get in the mindset of like, what's a sustainable pace and where do I start? So we can start thinking about that, which again is very aligned with like kind of that back to school energy that we might um, start to be feeling. So our mind practice for this waxing moon week is it's really you know you know I love this it's a great time to make your planetary to-do list one of my favorite practices which helps us take care of business without burning out waxing moons are obviously all about making plans and taking action so it's important to be really intentional with not only what needs to happen but how you approach it so I have resources on how to do this but as a general overview. Monday is ruled by the moon, so it's a great day for big picture thinking and planning. Tuesday is ruled by Mars, so it's a great day to take care of business, answer emails, tackle whole, like low-hanging fruit, all of those like lingering tasks that bog you down that really only take 10 minutes, like making a doctor's appointment, but you put off forever. Um, maybe just me, but that's a great day to pack Tuesday with those activities. Wednesday is ruled by Mercury. So plan your calls, plan communication that midweek day. Thursday is ruled by Jupiter. So it's a perfect day for collaboration, research, learning, any kind of like expansion. And then on Friday, our little Venus ruled day, you can marry your creative tasks with a little bit of self-care and achieve flow. So highly recommend testing that out during this um, waxing moon week. Yeah. And the weekend is for partying because it's the end of summer camp. (laughs) Yes, exactly. Our big big, bonfire. Yes. (laughs) Um, Our body practice this week, the, the waxing moon brings increasing energy and with it comes renewed interest in life again, (laughs) actually being social and caring about things. Um, So during the new moon, it's like no new friends, leave me alone. Let me watch the office for the 40th time and be with the things that make me comfortable. Okay. So now that we're a little past that, it's a good time to venture out and do something new and fun. 
So normally I'd say go try a new restaurant or a new type of workout class. But if you're still being cautious and staying home, maybe, you know, it's taking an online class and something that interests you or trying a new recipe with ingredients you've never used before, you know, just branching out a little bit. Um, is there anything new that you're going to try this week? Well, it's around this time that the farmer's market just feels like so enticing and mm. tempting. So I think I'm going to give myself like carte blanche to just buy things that are beautiful and that I have no idea what to do with and like let myself experiment. Um, I always find that that's a really fun way to find new recipes, which I love getting to try out is like, I don't know what to do with this ingredient. Like what do other people do? So I think I'm going to, yeah, have a little farmer's market farmer's supermarket sweep. <laughs> yeah. And that can be fun if you do like produce delivery too, where you can't choose everything and they just send you right. what they send you. I used to do that or I actually just started doing that again. But I remember when I first started it, I would get all this stuff that I like had no idea what to do with. And it, made, right. it like forced me to get creative and it was so fun. Absolutely. We're a bit, we've been, I feel like, especially by the end of the summer, because like we don't ever want to turn our oven on or anything. Like I've really run through like the low cook, like summery <laughs> recipes that I like so many times that yeah. it's also a good time to kind of, yeah, get out of that rut. Totally. And along those lines of not turning on the oven. <laughs> yes. My, my fun new thing is, well, it's not, not necessarily new, new, but, um, fermenting. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so I've done, you know, I've done plenty of fermentation projects before and I actually teach a class on making things like kombucha and yogurt, pickled vegetables and stuff like that. Um, I actually, if you want to know anything about kombucha, I have everything you could possibly want to know on my website about it. So um, if you're interested in making your own, I'll put that in the show notes. But um, yes. like I said, I recently signed up for the produce delivery again, and it's a lot of produce. So it's not necessarily food I can always eat on my own. Cause like, you know, Dan will eat at work sometimes. So sometimes it's just all for one. <laughs> so right. it's a lot of food. So I want to try preserving some of these things, you know, get those probiotics. Oh my God. Awesome. Yeah. So I bought the Noma guide to fermentation and there's some fun, different stuff in there. So, I mean, I, I'll, I'll do like the same projects over and over, but I'm really looking forward to getting like diving into those recipes and doing something different. That sounds so fun. I'm really excited to see like what comes out of that, especially pairing it with like, yeah, some, some of that produce that feels like so abundant right now. And like, making sure that you can make it last in a fun way. Yeah. I'll win, win, it. win. I'll post all about yes. my fermenting projects. <laughs> I love that. Um, and lastly, our spirit practice is journaling this week. Um, obviously, our waxing moon phase, it's really helpful to move through any like jumbled thoughts or new ideas or blocks that we come up against because we're really in movement. So setting aside 10 or 15 minutes every day I like first thing in the morning or before bed. It's just a personal preference. Um, and just letting that be kind of like a free write. It doesn't have to be like a beautiful, you know, Instagram, like bullet journal, like situation. This is really just to help you process. So I like to start by just asking myself the simple question, what's on my mind and trying not to judge what comes up and out. Journaling, like I said, is meant, is not meant to be like perfect or pretty. It's really just to help you move move some energy around. So I think you'll be amazed at the lightness that you can feel by starting to create space for your thoughts to live. Um, if you're feeling extra ambitious, which maybe you are, um, try to create one actionable item from your journaling daily. If there's a conversation that needs to be had, a little self-care you think you need, a task that's coming up that's like occupying way too much space in your brain, like make a plan to tackle it that day. So again, when you sit down to journal the next day, there's like something that feels like you've moved forward. That feels really rewarding to me. You guys, that's it. <laughs> oh my God. After this week, wet, hot cosmic summer camp is coming to an end. So sad tear, but we had a lot of fun. We tried to get Paul Rudd to show up. He didn't answer our calls, but we still had fun. Did you Lots have fun? Of fun. Oh, I had the best summer of my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we hope you had fun too. And we'd love to see how much fun you had 
on the internet with us. So use hashtag just a phase camp and tag us on Instagram at it's just a phase pod. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to email us at it's just a phase pod at gmail.com. And as a reminder, we're not leaving you hanging after this. We'll be back with full episodes starting next week. And next week is my birthday. And I'm accepting presents in the form of iTunes reviews. So feel free to do that as your final summer camp activity and tell us what an amazing time you had at Ugh. summer camp 2020. We can't wait to see you at the reunion and back in the real world where we'll just <laughs> nod and remember doing tie-dye together. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>